Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. Now today I have a circle generator for you. I built this thing about a week back, but I just threw it into a one command today. So yeah, uh, this has been done before. The first person I saw do it was Nope Name, and one person actually did it before him. And Nope Name's version was an improved version of his. Now I'm gonna leave a link to Nope Names in the description. It's very cool if you want to go check it out. It's actually really similar to mine. I think we use the same algorithm and. A similar execution technique. This is just for 1.9 and I threw some of my own twists on it. So yeah, let's get right into it. So of course give yourself a command block and then we're just going to go ahead and paste that in there. Awesome. Okay, so here we have circle generator. Oh, sorry about that. And <clears throat> we can click here to get the items and click here to destroy the machine. So let's get our items and let's go over here. So this is what we use to set the circle's radius. So let's set it. I'm going to set it to 5. Okay. And we can now place it down. And we will get a circle with a radius of 5. And it will be set on 5. So we can keep placing it like that. See it says takes uh, 0.17 seconds to build. So if we go here and let's, uh, let's do 30, 30. 30. So this is going to be pretty big. So let's go over here. You can see that takes 1.06 seconds. I got a little bit of a lag spike there, but it's okay. Yeah, so very cool, very cool. You can see if I fly up, you can see the circle up here from the top. Nice. Uh, let's go for a bigger one. Let's go for 55. So let's fly over here and build this. So yeah, you can see it being built. Now I'm actually going to show you something <laughs> kind of cool that I was doing earlier. Let's TP out of this area. <laughs> Sorry about that. Kind of messed something up. But yeah, so now that we have our circle radius as 55, we can place it down. And it will start building our circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to start running and placing the circle whenever it's finished. Uh, make sure you don't start a circle when one's already being built or else the machine will mess up. So yeah, we keep doing this, and yeah, okay, so let's do it just a bit more, one more time, one more time, boom, there we go, okay, so now we can fly up, and we can check this baby out, so from above it looks really cool, it almost looks like, like a spring, you can kind of like, if you <clears throat> think of it like that, it yeah it looks like a spring almost, <laughs> 3D spring. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. And the last circle I'm going to show you guys is the biggest one. It has a limit of 125 since I'm using uh, binary to teleport them out, which is why the circle starts being built instantly. So let's go for 125. And actually, if you try to do something more like 200... 30 something it'll automatically be set to 125 any number you press after that will just be reset so yeah so anyway 125 and let's build this circle let's go a little bit out so you can see that's going to take 4.41 seconds and yeah so now we can teleport ourselves up like 50 blocks and yeah there is our circle <laughs> very big very circular <laughs> so yeah awesome uh, there it is. Oh man, I'm still not even high enough to see the entire thing. But yeah, it looks very cool. If you're wondering how this works, a very simplified explanation is that it's doing something like this. It will break up the circle into octants, so there's eight different segments. And what happens is it'll start out like this, and then this is the, um, the top right octant. So basically it'll decide if this block or this block is closer to uh, the radius squared at that point so it gets the radius um, the radius of the circle squared <laughs> and uh, yeah it's basically comparing whether or not it's better to choose this location or to choose this location so it'll be better to do that and then that and then that and then yeah, it'll probably end like right there if you have a circle that small but anyway yeah, so that's a bad explanation. If you want to look it up, it's called the Bresenhan line algorithm for circles. It's very cool. And anyways, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Sorry uh, if I sound kind of weird. I'm just a little bit sick. It's, uh, now I have like a runny nose and all that, which sucks. I want to thank you guys for all the suggestions on the uh, on free editing software or cheap editing software because I got a lot of suggestions. I'm still going to look into them. Uh, I've been looking into them a bit, but I'm going to have to look into them more. Thank you guys for that. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, download the command in the description and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>